Hello world, it's Jerry, Old Guys Review. Before I start the video, which some of you, if you watched my old videos, knew this one was coming, I just have to give a shout out to all the amazing places and countries who watch my page. It just blows me away that a little guy in Alaska in a little town has viewers in Portugal and Brazil in Switzerland in the United Kingdom Canada and the US so big thank you for watching now for those of you that don't know this is the Element RC Enduro Trail Crawler or the Trail Runner my bad I have been waiting for this vehicle to come out because I'm a huge Toyota geek and I like the 4Runner. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Element RC, it's a division of Associate, which is quite a long history of good vehicles. And this being my second one, I love the Sendero. And I'm, I know I'm going to love this one also. Its biggest claim to fame, independent front suspension, which those of you who are old time Tamiya, like I am, our first independent front suspension live rear end vehicle was the CCO one. While not very capable, this element promises to be very, very capable. Now, the biggest thing, I'm not a huge crawler competition nut. So, others like me that watch my channel, I'm assuming, aren't familiar with the concept of overdrive. So, element comes with they're one of the few companies I believe who actually make a stock vehicle that is equipped with overdrive so overdrive allows the front wheels to move faster than the rear wheels so the rear wheels are pushing the front wheels are pulling and with faster speed helps you pull over obstacles so they come in stock form just like this sits out of the box with I believe 5.7 percent overdrive in the front but comes with the extra gearing in the goodie bag to bump it up to almost 12 percent now like I said I'm not a big crawling you know competition rated guy so I don't know the different gear ratios like a lot of people know off the top of their head. But seeing that my Sendero, how well it does, overdrive seems to be pretty good. So it comes in a box. This is basically an unboxing without the box. So you get your excellent manual which looks like a Hanes or a uh, you know one of the car magazines you would get or one of the uh, repair manuals you would get with an actual vehicle now unlike your normal RTRs this one comes with the complete breakdown like you were building the vehicle it gets into in the back here it'll give you gets into the gear ratios for doing your overdrives but the complete vehicle is broken down with all your part numbers everything you need but all the views and some of these will get into some of the special features that come with this vehicle to make it how you want it you get 
extra trees once again to make it how you want it. You've got a snorkel. I'll have to look in the book to see. You've got extra parts to see exactly what they're for. You get some extra body posts. And you get the roof rack. Comes with the roof rack. Uh, of course, the other goodie bag that comes with a bigger battery tray. And there's part of an axle in there. If you don't like the independent front suspension, with a few parts you order, you can put a solid axle on it. You get two little LEDs, which isn't bad for a $380 kit. You get your side mirrors. You get a bunch, you get, what do we got here? We got O-rings, we've got pins, we've got some more body clips, and we have a visitor to the workshop, little baby. You get front bumper pieces, which is a nice, you get D-rings, you get a bumper, you can put a winch in it, you get a binding plug for your radio, you get a pretty nice little RTR radio. Not very good view there. There we go. Which comes with a third channel already on it. Which, going from the Sendero that I used a Reefs RC servo winch on, was excellent. You get your manual for your radio. And you get your manual for your ESC. And something that I find fabulous about element kits is this sticker kit. And the biggest thing I like about it is all this black, they're flat. They're not shiny black. So that's going to be excellent when applying stickers. Now, if there's any fellow... Toyota geeks like myself, you have a trim package for most Toyotas, the TRD package. The TRD has particular kinds of stickers for the decals and whatnots. So, where is it on here? Let's just go to this one. So they say ER, so Element RC off road, done up like a Toyota TRD sticker, even with the mountains. That would say TRD normally, TRD off road. You've got all these excellent stickers. You've got bumper stickers. You've got, oh, we got a window sticker. You've got sun visor stickers. And all the flat stickers. These are actually the same kind of pattern that came on original Forerunners. So that's really neat. So we'll put that stuff out of the way because we're going to take off the top here. Now, here's my only issue so far. Let me see if I can get one in there. So you've got these round clips that hold on the body parts. Now, there are already some laying in the box when I got it. So they're weird. They just push on. That's going to definitely need some shoe goo or some RC or some uh, RTV to make those hold on better. Because these are for the rear visor. And I barely bumped this thing and it came right off. So those need to go away. Or to be 
toughened up. But we go to the front here. So these are ones. You got one, two, three, four of them. And this is part of the deal where you can customize it. You can take this front clip off to do the aftermarket bumper. Now you've got some neat detail. You can see like a radiator sticker behind the grill. Windshield wipers, front and rear. You've got a stiffening plate. I notice when it's on the body, it's pretty stiff, even though it's Lexan. So now, there's the bread and butter of this. Independent front suspension. It's pretty soft right now. I'll probably have to tighten that up a little bit. And I'm going to have to research where I could put a servo-mounted winch on there. But other than that, you get the standard fare of the Sendero kits, or Enduro kits. So, of course, you get a stubby pack battery tray that comes out for me because I like big ones. Dean's plugs. Pretty neat. MagnaFlow licensed exhaust. So that needs to be all removed and detailed up. Now the one thing with the Sendero was it came with black plastics that everybody considered to be a little bit soft. So this one comes with black that's stiffer now, but it also comes with some of the hard Gray was how you knew you got the better performing plastics. But this truck is not going to be a, a super performer, but it's true to scale, which to me is better than crazy off-road. This truck is basically what a Toyota 4Runner is right now you got a live rear axle and you've got a front mounted independent so now there it is everything's buttoned in there and even though it's a soft body see it's not there's not a lot of flex to the body so 1.55 licensed general grabber tires. Excellent flex. So that is just my quick overview of a truck I've been waiting for since it came out. But what most of you who watch my channel, here will be a little tidbit once again. I did a lot of work on the outside track this weekend with my trails and whatnot. But I also got my trailer done. I've got my tie downs on it. I've got all my wood on it. And it's ready to get out on the trail. So, just so you know, that's coming up. That trailer is over 50 inches long. And I can't wait to see it in action with the trucks on it. So, stay tuned. And once again, thanks to all who watch my channel and like and subscribe. And throw me any questions. But, oh, I almost forgot. So, for those of you who may have never seen a Element in Enduro box. So, we flip quickly over. This is the box that the Enduro Sendero came in. It becomes a scale garage. We've even got oil stains. Tire tracks, 
garage door. So, the trail runner was no exception. Here it is. You've got a showroom. Just got to continue to take it apart and make it up. You've got an Enduro Sendero in the background through the glass. You've got your accessory wall with light sockets. You got your coffee machine. There's doesn't seem to be any coffee in it, but uh and then you also have the other side. What's this one? Let's see. Can I nope. Doesn't do any different. So that one has to be cut out and mounted. Probably on the far side. So this looks like an opposite to the Sendero box. But then you're gonna have of course, the mailman had to smush my box, so he messed up my garage a bit. But there you go, and it's inevitable. You got to take it out real carefully, or you're going to get this is glue. I can maybe get it off with a heat gun, but I don't really use the boxes for anything. So, once again, Element Trail Crawler. Tra Element Trail Runner. I don't know why I keep saying crawler. Well, thanks for watching. Until my next video. Bye.